In this video we're going to take a look at some of the database features of Excel. Um, in addition to crunching numbers, one of the things that Excel is really good at is database features. Now what's a database? Database is basically a collection of information. The individual items are called records and a record is simply a row of related information. So here is the George Washington record. All of this information is related to George Washington. This is his major, this is his advisor, this is how many credits he has, this is his ID number. And I want to keep all this information together. If I move George down here and I don't move the rest of the stuff down there, I've basically scrambled my data. So a little bit about uh, terminology here. Uh, the individual items are called fields. So I have a first name field, a last name field, a major field, an advisor field, a credits field, and an ID number field. Um, sometimes the term field is used to apply to an entire column. If I'm talking about the entire table of data and I refer to the first name field, then I'm probably talking about the entire column. If I'm talking about a specific row and I talk about the first name field, then I'm probably talking about an individual cell. So we have records that are collections of related fields. The information in a record needs to stay together, otherwise you'll end up scrambling your data. So there are no calculations at all on this spreadsheet. All it is is just a collection of data. And we're going to take a look at some of the database features which are on the data tab. In this video we're going to take a look at sorting the data. Uh, sorting the data simply means putting it in either alphabetical order or numeric order, either ascending or descending and all you have to do to sort in Excel, it's, it's as simple as it can be. If I want to sort based on first name, I simply put the cursor any place in the first name column. Just make sure you only select one cell and not multiple cells. And go to the data tab, the sort and filter group, and the A to Z button will sort the data in alphabetical order. I've also got a Z to A button, which will put it in reverse alphabetical order. And if we look here, um, need to scroll down a ways here, uh, to George Washington. There's George Washington. First name, last name, major, advisor, credits, and ID number. They're all the same. The data was kept together. And that's the way it works when you're dealing with uh, database features in Excel. Okay, let's get it back in alphabetical order by first name. You can also do alphabetical order by last name. Just put the cursor in the column. Sort by major, put the cursor in the column, click on A to Z. Now I've got all the accounting majors, biology majors, business administration, and so on. Sort them by advisor. Sort them by credits. And you can do an increasing or a decreasing sort uh, with these two. The ID number column over here was simply a column that I added in addition to my original data. The reason I put that uh, number in was so that I could resort the data and get it back in its original order. If you go back and look at the original order here, this is what I had. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and so on. And that's pretty much all there is to sorting with a single key. In the next video, we'll take a look at sorting with multiple keys.